Take your time, take your time. Oh, Control. Oh. Back up, back. Squeeze, Whoa. squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> Hold. Good. Painful. Painful. I love that. I don't think you'll understand the magnitude of that bar till you use it. Yeah. It's painful. Yeah, explain that. You can't understand it. Yo, oh, today, training with one of the gym gods. Come on in. Jesus come in, please. come in, come in. This is one of the gods. Give me love, give me love. This is one of the gods. As you can see, guys, come in, come in, come in. Come in. The monster's right there. Oh my god, the monster. Oh my god, this is another gym god. Big dog. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Everybody's here. Guys, as you can see, we're here at Michael Hearn's house. We're gonna be training chest today. Mike is one of the guys that I really admire when it comes to training. His training technique is phenomenal. He's been training for 42 years. 42 years. That's, that's, he's been training longer than I've been alive, basically. So um, a year before that, right? Yeah, a year before that. He started training. 15 before, years. Yeah, 28, so, 29. So he started training before I was born. 1979 to be precise. He started training, you know. So I've done the maths pretty quick there. Uh, quick maths. <laughs> anyway guys, we're going to crack on with training because it's not about filming today. It's about training one of the gods and learning from the gods. It's about popping the top. And popping yeah. the top. Jeez, did he pop the top? Jesus Christ, how is this magic yet? Oh my god, this is the magic. Let's pop the top. This is cool because today we got a, a world champion <laughs> and a new LFDB pro with us. They just got one of the, your first guest posing as an IFBB pro. As an IFBB pro on Saturday. Fantastic. And yesterday he was getting mocked up. Oh man, that was wild. Or um, what would you call that? Would you call that um, <laughs> molding? Molded. Molded. Because we're doing a movie here in three weeks, and Doug is going to be the monster that's going to kick ass. Fantastic. Also remember September 10th, uh, the Manson Brothers is out. Uh, so you can watch me as well, Radiant Bobby. What a name, right? What a name. Radiant Bobby. What a name. What does Radiant Bobby do? Right? Uh, he kills everyone. That's all his job is. So come everyone. in, be charming. The ladies want to, the guys want to hang out with them. Yeah, he just kills everybody. I love it. I love it. Good character. Right, guys, we've got to crack on with training because that's what we're here to do. Right. Get so let's get, the, let's get the magic rolling. Punch. Wally, put him in here. Get his jump in for a little warm up turn. Jump on down there, grab the black handles there. Yep. Up. Whoop. Open it. Whoop. Close. <laughs> Close. Oh, so really strong. Yep. So move your hands slightly out now. Okay. Rotate them more. Oh, oh, oh. oh. And back up. Oh. And again. Oh. Slow, slow. 10.20. Oof. Tighten two. Oh, as you can see, guys, I've never used that piece of equipment before. I know, I've never used it before. Never seen it before. Never seen, it before. never seen the bar like that before. Let's go, big dog. Very tough to use. Oof. Think about yourself in Vegas. Two guys. And they're just over here. <laughs> <laughs> so Doug here walked on stage a couple of weeks ago at 290, 290 pounds dried out. 290 pound dried out. Off season I'm probably 260, 270 pushes. Oh, that's cool. 290 pounds dried out. You can't oh. imagine what it would look like. Fat and happy. <laughs> <laughs> How we do sound? Uh, pretty good. I mean, if you want to do mics, we have mics. Yeah. Don't you shut that door? I think. Okay. I think. Yeah. I think. Just mic up myself and. Uh, I'll be next mic. to you when you talk. Yeah. No. No. Do you want to get mic'd up? Do I do that right now? Yeah. Let's get mic'd up. Yeah. yeah. Mic up me and Mike. Cool. Mike and Mike. Uh, well then, Mike. Well, nice to meet you. Good to see you. I don't think I've ever met you. You saw him yesterday. Oh yeah, briefly, yes. Yeah, I met you yesterday on the dance. Yeah, I met you before. You're from London, I yeah. think. See you next time, I guess. Oh. Oh. Really good, bro. 
right with that pointer finger. Yeah, so. it's very, very difficult. Yeah, it's not. It's not easy. I don't. I've never used anything like it. Bar ever. Who it is it? the coolest bar ever because you know why? A three fifteen for ten reps will transfer to a five hundred incline. Oh, easy. Yeah. So easy. I'm struggling on that. I'm teaching hit Titan, so when he starts training, yeah. there's so much stuff that you and I did as 10 year olds, yeah. 11 year olds, that I will never, like when he tells somebody, hey, I bent, uh, what do you bench, Titan? 315, and they're gonna be like, but well, you're 295, it's 65, how's that 315? And then he gets down and does it like this. And the reason why is because the connective tissue, the muscle, the, I mean, yeah. when we grew up, we benched to bench heavy weight. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. That's, that's it. it. That's now it. we're lucky because we connect with the chest. How many people connect with the chest? Not many. Not many. It took me. It took me. I literally tell people it took me ten years. I mean, I could bench five hundred pounds at nineteen years old, but the chest didn't represent chest didn't do it. No, no. lats and shoulders no. did it mostly. It was. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You know, but what's the question? The first question people ask you. What you bench? bench? Exactly. No. The, when I got to goals, I was the strongest guy. And my training partner was Tom Plaz and all these guys, and Jim Quinn was there, and Billy Smith was there. Monsters. And everybody trained heavy in the 90s. Yeah. And I was still the strongest. But it didn't represent in muscle size. No. Because even though I was the strongest, I was not nearly as massive as any of those guys. So why, why, why is that? Because strength doesn't equal muscle size. It only equals man strength, which is connective tissue. Yeah. And what your, your body can handle. So a power lifter can go 185 and squat 400. 10 years later, he can still be 185, mm. but squat 800. Yeah. So it's, it's a wrestler that can yeah. grab a hold of you and toss your ass around. That's man strength. Wow. And so the coolest thing about this bar, or anything, like you said, 10, 10 years to learn to bench, yeah. and a 19500, mm -hmm. is that connection. And people bypass the connection. Yeah, no, definitely. If you do it, it works. No. It's hard to get that connection, though. It is. Do you know what I mean? You talk 10 years, you know, I, I'm still trying to find a connection sometimes when I'm training. Oh, yeah. I, do you know what I mean? I've been training for 30 years almost, and, it and I'm still time trying time to find something. the muscle-mind yeah. connection to actually think, okay, right, I'm working my chest because this particular exercise now, I'm feeling it more on my shoulders than my chest at the moment. So it's now I need to find that connection point where, right, okay, well, you're not training your shoulders, Wale, you're training your chest. So let's focus your energy from up here onto uh, that chest. Question for you then. How much will his form visually to an amateur look different from his warm ups in the shoulder to the chest when we're in the workout? Probably negligible, or if at all, if at all, yeah. It will look, It'll look exactly the same. The same. Mm. But the muscle that you're working is completely different because of your connection. It's That's like you amazing. posing, you posing yesterday, yeah. and you're gonna pose today. You look too, you're too good. <laughs> Serge taught him these, this routine last night. Oh, oh, oh. The wraparound. Oh yeah, the wraparound, <laughs> wrap. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't do it. Oh, oh, oh. That was <laughs> I think we're all pulling this out. <laughs> oh, you got a pose. Get in here. Right, let's get in there. <laughs> Do another set. Well, I'm, I'm, it's, now, it's, oh. it's amazing. What's the number one thing you tell your clients to connect to the muscle? Feel it. I mean, that's if you, if you feel it, it's correct. But you have to, that's why I'm always poking my clients. I'm always like poking here, poking there. It's like you feel it right there. You feel that squeeze. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can teach someone how to do a fly and a pre, you know, all of it. But if you do this for one rep, 315 hitting the walls, it's better than the kid that's doing the 500. Mm. Oh, to absolutely. me, to me, absolutely. Because this guy is controlling and manhandling this stuff, where the other guy's using speed and, and, and the bounce. And the bounce. To get, it's like, yeah. you want two bills? What do you want? Yeah, let's go two. I'm ready for two. Get there. That'll be good, baby. I'll be good. good. Baby. Good.
There's my guy. Again. Easy money. There we go. One more. Finish it. Back up. Boom. So difficult. I've never ever used a bar like that before in my life. As you can see, when you train with a god like Mike, brings out new equipment like this, this is gonna hit your chest in a different form. And then when you're training and using the bar like this, when you go back to the traditional incline press, it's so easy. We Mike, got what's your max on the incline? 505 for two is my So best. 505 for two guys, in, in kilos, he's looking like, like 200 kilograms. 505, probably plus, 200 plus, kilograms plus. plus a yeah, so 2.2 pounds and a kilo. Um, so, extra, 502, like just over 200 kilograms. That's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Oof. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. That's phenomenal, Mike. When I see him do that sometimes, I think this is a bill. Is it fake weights? <laughs> Where's Cassie Gray? Do they do they do they do? I love the way that that's what I've, I've always loved that about the control that, that we have when we train like that. Right? Controlled aggression is what I call it. It's like you're putting your power in a controlled manner. Push. Beautiful. That's what I like about it. When I watch you lift, it's because I've been around powerlifting my whole life. And, and you're going to get some guys that need to get amped in this stuff. Um, and it's just the speed. And then you translate to bodybuilding and stuff. And then there's yeah. the combination of going way too slow, way too light. Just kind of... I just want the muscle, which doesn't make sense to me because it's not, muscle's temporary. Yeah. You know, you're not putting anything in the bank. Well, so, yeah, those guys are really constant tension, like really, really slow. Half rep and half stuff. Like, uh, you have to put it under heavy tension. You got to. Otherwise, but that's watching you. I love it because your form is controlled, but you're heavy as anything. It reminds me, it's just that there's, there's a few guys, Ben Pikulski, you know, yeah. uh, you know, another guy that's just, that's true, just the mind is there the whole time. Who's your it's coach? A, uh, Chris Asito does my guide, and then I, I work most of the guitar. Wow. I took the advice to wear underwear. Wow. <laughs> That's the first thing Mike asked me. Was like, you like this person? Yeah, why do you wear underwear with him? Yeah. <laughs> right? Come on, kid. Come on, dude. Commando. Commando Bando. Phenomenal. Look at that. We've got to do some poses yeah. today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got to see some poses. Where's your shirt on, dog? He, he, Molly, what's up? He, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not a Michael, that's why, but look, look at this. Jesus, look at this. Look at this light, look at this light, look at the oh, mirror. Yeah. Molly, pop it. Oh, look Jesus look Christ. Christ. You're talking now. Okay, right, we're not talking right now. Let me just pop it. One second. Go. But, but you're not going anywhere yet. I'll talk for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a little pose today. It's going to be incredible. Um, Molly. Is gonna show us what uh, two men really look like together, <laughs> naked. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. You can't even get them both in there. Nope. <laughs> Jeez, the way you guys. Oh. oh. Front lat spread. Front lat spread. Oh yeah. Take team. Side chest. Ooh, that is a lot of muscle, boys. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh. Back, back relaxed. Just turn around, just stand there for a second. Show these guys what it looks like. Look at that. So you're talking about wrestling tag team? These guys are over 550 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Back double bicep. Ooh. Look at that. Go up with it. Nice. Take it up. Take it up. Back lat spread. Beautiful. Ooh. Take it. Take it. Take your time. Ooh. Jeez. Christmas come early. Oh. Relax. Ooh. Relax. Back oh. Oh Take my God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Phenomenal! Jeffrey, get one photo. Phenomenal! Oh. oh my God! Again, take your time. 
Let's take your time. I know. Finish. Good. Yeah. Take some moment just to grab a hold of it. Yeah, that extra, every time the weight goes up, you gotta feel it again. Yep. That's cool. Phenomenal. <laughs> this guy is where the flip flops and everything. Oh, shut off. That came yeah, off let's quick. Go, baby. Let's go. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Give me just one rep and yeah. control. Okay. Hands are set. Take it up and hold it for oh. a second. Hold it here. Hold it. Yep. There we go. Down slow, 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 slower. Nice. Come on. Go. Go. That chest go. Working. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. All chest. Control. Back up. Back. Squeeze. Whoa. Squeeze. Squeeze. <laughs> hold. Good. Painful. Painful. I love that. I don't think you'll understand the magnitude of that bar till you use it. It's yeah. painful. Yeah, explain that. You can't understand it. You wouldn't understand, I can't explain it in words, how it feels, how it opens up the chest cavity. It just opens the chest up. The fibers are tearing apart as you open the chest up and bring it back together. I'm gonna get myself one of these bars and get it to London. Honestly, I'm ordering one of these bars today. Yeah, what do you think? Because a lot of people sometimes say, well, why not just use dumbbells? Dumbbells are different. Completely different. That, that is a funny thing they say. Different they, motions, completely. You cannot motions. compare the movement of a dumbbell so to the movement of this bar. No. It's in comparison. You know, it's in comparison. It's yeah. like comparing, Wait. you know, a woman that's a, a 10, God. a woman that's a, a 6. <laughs> that's the comparison there. You know, you can't compare them. They're not in the same league. Really different league. Kind of like that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You can't compare them. They're, they're in comparison. You know what I mean? You could call Guys, we are call here like today benching for dumbbells. training with Michael O'Hearn. To. to me, he's yeah, one of the so gods that paved the way for the likes of me to be able to do what I'm doing today. We need one at like When I met Mike in 2014, 2015, I knew who he was already. He was a phenomenal athlete. I knew who he was for his YouTube channel. I was following him, following his training methodology. Big and to train with him, to have met him, and still be training with him to today, is phenomenal. I've learned so much. So as you can see, look at the bar that we're using, look at the way it's been used. Uh, you're going down nice and slow, nice and control, and that's it. So again, rep ranges that we're going and working between uh, today is between three to five reps. Three to five reps, believe it or not, but it's all control. And it's all about muscle and mind connection. When you talk about muscle and mind connection, what is it about? Connect your muscle with what you're doing. Think about what you're doing and connect it all together. When we're completely off, bands from the bottom. Yeah. Or bands from the yeah. top. So, explosion, get that strength going. Jesus Christ, right? Jesus Christ, look at this. Jesus Christ, this, this is just, what's that? <laughs> That's a 315? Just a little bit of weight. This is 315? Not as much as the bar hole. We can do kilos. Yeah, no, well, that's 180 kilos right there. 180 kilograms, guys. It's 315 in pounds. <laughs> Simple maths. <laughs> Quick maths. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Fun day today. 6 a.m. starting to work. Um, again, Wally's in all week. Doug's here. We've been hanging with Doug for the last couple of weeks, which has been Man, fun. It's been a great time. And he has to stay in shape because he's going to step on guest posing this weekend. Take your time. Yep. One, up, two, up. All right. Hold it there for a moment. Go. <sighs> Boom. Yeah. Oh, you can feel it coming. Control. Go. Control. Boom. Oh, one more. One Let's more. go. Let's go. Yep. Oh. When you get really good at this, oh. you'll be able to actually. You get more wrong. No, your yeah, arms no, no, right, yes. won't even bend much as you get really, really good, and maybe a little lighter. But you'll be able to take it down and pull it back in with very little um, bend oh, to the arm. Really right. Crazy. Yeah. Now Doug's also a, a rep guy. You're a rep guy. A little bit more volume. Yeah. A little bit more volume, and so. Again, you guys at the end of today will understand the difference on this bar relative to other bars. 
Wally, let's yeah. go uh, two for eight. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Two, three. Here we go. Come on, Wally. Rock and roll. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. Slow down, slow down. There you go. Three. Four. Oh, yeah. Five. Oh, yeah. Six. Let's go. Come on, come on. Come on. Seven. Let's go. Let's Don't go. give up. Yeah. Big chest. Ooh. Ooh. Great set. Great set. Thank you. I cannot explain the magnitude, the difficulty of that bar. Like Doug was saying, you get one rep wrong, you feel like you've got to do another rep. But Doug is a rep man. Me and Mike was talking about rep ranges yesterday. This funny thing is, I'm a rep guy myself, and I've learned a lot from Mike. Like I was saying, you know, I do so much reps prior to warming up, to, to warm up my chest, and I'm doing too much. Mike's taught me so much. Anyway, got to catch this footage. Come on, Mike, let's go. That's beautiful, Mike. I love how early the handles start moving in. For me, I feel like I don't get them to move in until half the rep's done. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Look, look at the control. Oh, so you guys will understand this. Like when I do different types of squats, Yeah. what moves first? And the important part is like, yesterday it was the knees going out, not the hips going back. And when we talk powerlifting, the first thing that moves is hips back. Yeah. So it's a complete change, even though maybe to the amateur, they're like, he's squatting. Yeah. He didn't see the little detail. And so it's great training with you guys because you understand that the first movement wasn't up. It was a push from the hands to go up instead of me trying to bench it up. Mm -hmm. So it's this. Who designed these balls? Great kid. Jeff uh, teamed up with. So, I mean, sorry, Serge. Serge <laughs> teamed up with the guy. He did the. Uh, yeah, I'll send you. Yeah. Yeah, please. I need to. Sh I'll buy one today. Yeah. Ship it to London. <laughs> yeah. Straight away. I'll, honestly, I'll buy a bar today. Ship it to London for me. Honestly, that's going to be my little secret. When I get, get home, they'll freak. They're going to freak out when they see this. I'm going to hide it from them. Because at my gym, I'm going to put it away. They're not going to get to use it. Maybe I'm going to use it. I'm only joking, guys. <laughs> So it's, oh, yeah. it's not handles. It's on a track. Oh yeah, they always. It's want on a handles. track. Come on, you got that good good lens. Yeah, yeah. So you can see this has been carved out, and there's actually a track on this. So the one side or either side, it's not handles. And this is what happens to everybody. This this hand when they hold the weight, it throws them off. And so the nice thing is about how smooth it is. And again, the movement isn't press. It's open. Yeah. As and you see, it opens up the chest fibers. Which is great with so you guys, because you, you guys are so it. diced in, and you can see everything. Oh, I bet it does, yeah. I, I bet it looks crazy. It does look crazy. Good. Sexy. That's why we're here. I'm controlling myself around these men. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look any different from the, the day I met him. I've literally heard women describe him as walking sex. <laughs> I'm serious, 100%. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, dog. I like that shirt. Mm. Ooh. Get it. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ready. Let's go on. Mm. Three? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. You set the three. number. Yeah, another triple. Let's do three. He's about to do a 315. Where are you going? Where are you going to go? Free Mexico. Mexicali. <laughs> Mr. Mexicali. Oh, my athlete there. Tequila shot. Look at this. You can only understand the magnitude and how difficult it is to use this bars. Only when you've used it. Oh, hands. You get the yeah. Oh, 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 there we oh, go. Oh, yeah. Look Sorry. at that power. Holy sheesh. Hands. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, too fast. Too yep. fast. Beautiful. Oh, you got one more there. Go. Let's go. We good. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. go on, swing yeah. it. Swing yeah. it. 
Four reps yeah. one minute ago. Still breathing hard, yeah. That's, That's so cool. epic compared to the guy that does five sets of 15 reps. Oh, I did great. I did five sets yeah. of, you did four reps. Four reps. And did the work that you needed to, which we talked about. Yeah. The least amount of work for the most benefit. Absolutely. Absolutely. And what, Don't worry, what I wanted to say, say I wanted to say that the trend. <laughs> yeah. In regards Tons to what of trend. was saying is we, we talked yesterday and it's the least amount of work to yeah. get the maximum benefit yeah. from yeah. It, what you're doing. Um, it's about longevity when you're training. It's not about going into something yes. and just training for one year or two years. We've been training for, I've been training for three decades. Mike's been training for almost four decades, or well, over four decades. Uh, you know, so it's longevity. I like Remember, saying, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's like, too, I like to say, we're craftsmen, not laborers. Yes. You know, I've always Ooh. liked that. Craftsmen, not laborers. Do it right. Do it right. I gave you two and a half. Right, let's do it. Jeffrey, come around here. I want you to get this backside. Stop here, you saw. You saw land on that thing? You can do it right here. Whoop. Take your time. Yep. Take your time. Same thing he did. Four reps. Yep. Whoop. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I got you. for me is no change on speed, no change on form, which is more important to me because of the fact that I don't care what the weight is, I'll still manhandle it. That's how you, that's, that's that same that's form. Don't go heavier if all you're gonna do is speed up and forget what you're doing. Change the rep, yeah. Accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's just beautiful. How was Vegas? Tell us really about oh, Vegas. Oh, Las Vegas. One of the things I love about Vegas is you can be anybody in Vegas. Ooh la 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 la. You can be whoever you want to be. You can pretend. Vegas. Look, Vegas. Vegas is one of those cities where you can do whatever you want to do and be whoever you want to be. But I couldn't wait to get out of there, get to LA to triple mic. This is what I'm all about. You know, I mean, I love, I love. What we do here. This is this is we're craftsmen, not yeah, laborers. I, I got that from Doug. Remember we're crafting our physique like an art. Like an artwork. So you know, a 260-pound bodybuilder, they can't even fucking walk up the stairs. Oh absolutely. I you know, 100%. fuck that. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's about performance as well. And that's what I love about Mike. Well, I, you know, if you train for simply a set only. You get a certain look. Definitely. If you train for performance, your aesthetics take on a much different look. And I, I prefer that look, you know, like you can always tell an athlete from a bodybuilder. Exactly. You can really always. Exactly. Tell. Like I I could probably had to. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the whole book, point. But I you know, and the whole point is the ability to be able to transfer, you know, the strength yeah. that you, you build yeah, in the yeah. gym. <laughs> Just not, yeah. The strength you build in the gym to be able to do things with it. Um, you know, the most important thing to me is, again, is longevity. Staying healthy for a long period of time. You know, and this is one of the reasons. This is not bro science, by the way. This is not what we call bro science. 
This is science. This is experience. This is science and experience that is very best. This is not about pro science like, well, the biggest guy in the gym told me that I needed to do this exercise. So I'm going to do the exercise that the biggest guy in the gym told me to do. No, guys. This is about science. Science. Specific science behind what we're doing. You know, there is scientific rationale behind it. Thing. This is not ludicrous or madness. You know, you have to take that into consideration. So when you think about the approach of the training that we're doing, look at it. Doug's about to go now. Let's go, big dog. No. Why <clears throat> Just a second. Can you take the pictures as well? Yeah. Just take those pictures as well. And set up. Get the grip. Here we go. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. Here we go. Two and. Go overly slow. Take your time. There. Look at that. There we go. Get there it. we go. Get it up. Get it up. Beautiful. Oh, fucking strip. Yeah, I know. I know. Control, control. Up. Oh. Oh. Squeeze. Squeeze. Slow. Squeeze. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. No. Okay. I'm here. Um. Oh. Thought I had it. No. The, the bar, it tricks you. It does. There's no locking mechanism in it. So it's not, there's not like it's going to return yeah. to its initial settings where it's going to come back. You've got to bring it together. Yeah, that was the thing. I thought I could you know reset I mean? like with a normal bar, but I'll get it up, but then you're stuck in. Yeah. You know, yeah. Because what you're doing is the, 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 the gravity is working against you. Oh, definitely. So when gravity works against you, what's happening is the, the, the handles are, are rotating in the opposite direction where you want them to go in. That was interesting. That Do you know what I mean? mean? So, you know, gravity you is working see, against you. You both can see, and, and I love that because you guys have been doing this for a while, and Doc knows this, is that that's the guy that got injured compared to the bright individual going, I'm out of whack, bring it down. Yeah. Relax. Don't freak. This is not when you freak. Absolutely. Right. Slow, no way. relax, get back in the fight. Cool. It, it, it's like, you know, I grew up grinding heads in wrestling, and there's gotta be times he has a better position on you. Relax, come back, get set, get your base, go right back go in. Forth, yeah. And, and uh, loved, didn't love seeing you fail, and you didn't fail, you learned. Yeah. But I love the control that he did. And so if you guys are at home, for me, skip everything that you see today. What he did on the second rep was the most impressive thing that I'll see today. And I, I know that you guys today will not understand that, but in 20 or 30 years, you will. He'll go, he'll, he'll go okay, I get it. He relaxed, he didn't hurt himself because the guy that pushes through it. Yes. Hurts himself. Exactly. Absolutely. 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 You know, you can't, you can't find, I love what you just said there. Reset. It's a battle. Remember, it's a battle. Each and every time you step into the gym floor, you're battling against yourself. And sometimes you're going to lose the battle. That's okay, but you're going to win the fucking war. Remember that. Some battles are lost in wars. But the longevity about a war is you're gonna lose some battles during the war. Well, we just took this a deep notch. But like it. when it comes to it, you're gonna win the war. Because that's what it's all about. We wanna win the war. And the war's against ourselves. But you're gonna lose some battles. You're gonna live to fight another day. Live to fight another day. Right. <laughs> it's yours. Boom. Oh. Oh, yeah. Really? Take your time, take your time, show them those striations. Show them why you're the world champ. World champ, three time, three time world champ. <laughs> Last one, Here, make it pretty, get it? Go, 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 yes. go, go, finish it. <laughs> now I know you guys at home are asking the real important question here, and this is huge. Well, chip up here for a second. Yeah, 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 turn, turn this way. Now you know that he just competed, correct? <laughs> Hit the bicep for us. Watch this, watch this. Why is there hair under the arms? He just competed, he just competed. Why is there hair under the arms? <laughs> I don't shave my own pits. I should have. I should have shaved my own pits. You shave your own pits, Doug? Get them waxed. Oh, wow, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, that, oh, wow, I didn't realize. It's the most painful part to get waxed, too, let me tell you. Oh, Jesus Those Christ. Armpits. 
Man, I'm gonna have to be at school every day. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much to teach this young lad. I oh, know. Yeah, but it's great. But don't forget, I'm dark skinned, so they don't see that shit. What? I'm You're dark right? skinned. I'm dark skinned, baby. You know, so what? That's not spray like, tan. You know, that's not spray <laughs> tan, this is real. <laughs> so if I hit that, yeah, they're not gonna see that. It's more separation, see? See? He's sm I learned something yeah. today. Oosh. Oh, oh, no. oh, he turned around on you. He turned around. Ooh. Serge taught him this. The nice twist oh, here. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. The leg. Search flawless on this. Ooh. Ooh. Um. <laughs> <good>? Yeah. <laughs> floor press. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, 